Well guys, it looks like we're going to Lollapalooza. I will say this, I'm super excited about Lollapalooza because several people that I have met have been, and this is an event that's been going on for years, so this is something that will be brand new to me, but definitely not to the band community. So I'm super excited to meet some other nomads and uh, connect with a few that I already know. I guess it's time, let's uh, get on the road. Okay, we got some gas, gotta go inside, get something to drink, and then we're back on the road. We're back at it. I just need a little bit of caffeine. Today is one of those driving days. I'm driving approximately three hours to get to Lollapalooza. Well worth it though, I can't wait. We're getting close though, 79 more miles. That's not too bad. Well guys, we made it. We're at Abilene State Park where this year's 2021 Lollapalooza is being held. So uh, let's go check in and find some people. Step one, check in. So Dimples is right here and we are going into the visitor center and check-in station. So they should have us on file, but if they don't, Dimples is, is easy to remember. So <laughs> Okay, we are official now, and I just have to put this on the driver's side so we can come and go as we need to, and I also picked up a map. Okay, so here is our map, and if we follow this blue line, it'll take us all the way over to Campsite 78, which is where I will be meeting up with our first person. And this is a person that you guys are pretty familiar with, but this yellow over here, this is actually where the vast majority of the Lollapalooza events will be taking place. So we're just staying in park and having the accessibility to the Wagon Circle area where a lot of different people will actually be, but this is going to give us a little bit of a quiet retreat over here. Allegedly. I don't know how that's actually going to go. We are about to go over to the campsite though and meet up with somebody pretty special that you guys are already familiar with. I am super excited to be sharing this adventure today with Lady Bug Out. Yeah, that's right. Lady Bug Out is here and I can't wait. We had so much fun connecting at Gutted that we decided to rendezvous here and then we also have one other event that's coming up very soon. So I'll keep you posted on that, but it is time for Lollapalooza. Guys. Okay, so we did start this day off and I, I took some time to kind of acclimate myself to our site, but now we're actually moving into the event itself and uh, tons of cool people here already. I'm going to be introducing you to a few of them, but uh, for now, we're just going to kind of get the lay of the land and see what's going on. And um, we just can't stay away from each other. No, we had just too much fun last time. That's so right. come along with us for our little Lollapalooza adventure. Okay guys, we came back to the campsite, we got the lay of the land, we picked up an itinerary, but now we're actually kind of winding down just a little bit before we go back over to the wagon wheel area for the campfires. Now there's events planned all weekend here at Lollapalooza and I'm really excited to meet more people because there's so many interesting people that are not just on YouTube but in the van and RV community that are here. So this is going to be a great opportunity to kind of do that. In the meantime though, around camp, I am actually charging my Jackery. Lady Bug Out is actually using the Wee Boost and over here right is starting off with something to eat because it's getting kind of late in the day so it's it's just about that time but um all in all super cool so far and uh way more to come way more we're better off Woo! we're better off just keeping pushing that in i've, I've seen this done it's, it's a technique <laughs> There's something, there's something in here. What is it? What are you? I want to know, but at the same time, I don't. 
Claire, are you? Because you were real bold coming up on this side of the bush. I'm a piece of chocolate. We have marked ourselves safe at the Abilene State Park Campground. And I can attest to the fact that this bench right here is sturdy enough for me to stand on. Just saying. In a hurry. In a hurry. And it didn't tip over. Thank goodness. And uh, back to the campfire. Good morning, adventurers. Last night was so fun. We ended up staying at our campsite and actually just having a little campfire and just having good conversation. And now it's morning again and we're about to get off to some exciting things, but um, I'm not yet awake. I just took a little trip down the main path here to uh, find the bathhouse, but now I'm going to take this trip down this slightly woolly path to get back to camp. Now, last night at our campsite, we had a phantom critter making some noise. So I think it was like a possum. And uh, yeah, that was an interesting moment. Okay, it is now day two at Lollapalooza and we opted to wake up and actually go for a hike. There is a beautiful lake here at the Abilene State Park and they have this trail that kind of runs along the rim. So since I'm with Lady Bug Out and well, you know what happens with that. We decided to try to reconquer a hike. So here we go, and uh, today we have rain with us. So actually we get to do something extra special with someone else on the channel. So come with us for our little hike. guys this is beautiful and the wind feels so good so I think that uh, we're gonna keep going Guys, you won't believe what I just pulled out of my hiking boot. This thing poked all the way through the boot and into my heel. So see, that was in there, in there. That was like all the way up through these huge lugs. I felt it when I stepped down, it hurt. Okay guys, they're actually doing a bike parade here. It's one of the many events that they're having. And today we've taken a little bit more low key. We did our hike, 
we cooled off for a little bit we ate our food but this is whenever it really starts to get fun because everybody's out moving around and there's some really cool bikes here so there's e-bikes and regular ones so here you go and d has the best bike of them all she has the, the invisible bike Woohoo! and it goes fast Wow, it, it's catching. It is catching. Woo, it's catching. that the site was fully booked up for tonight and so that means that we're going to have to bid the event a farewell a bit early so when you lose your site you lose it at noon and you have to be out so we're just gonna move right on over to the wagon wheel and from there we're gonna go ahead and just enjoy the day with everyone else and do the cookout which is tonight they have like a big potluck and then I think we're gonna just press it on down the road and off to the next adventure it has been super fun here and been getting to know so many new people that are just really cool but also getting to reconnect with people that I did already know before which is really nice so currently that, that's why I'm driving we're driving over to the wagon wheel Okay, we made it over the wagon wheel and uh, we have this nice little setup going here between our vans. There's a good breeze and uh, getting some work done. So that's kind of fun at Lollapalooza, still working and uh, ignore the trash cans behind me. Just, just ignore them. One more night, we are moving our site actually over to site two and we're gonna be sleeping on the wagon wheel tonight. Um, so yeah, this is, this is, this is what it is. Okay guys, I am cooking my little potluck piece for the Lollapalooza. We're gonna do like this group style dining and everybody's gonna bring something. I heard there's some really fun stuff. So uh, we're in for a treat. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, but uh, right now I need to get back to cooking. I am making pasta salad and this is taking longer than I expected because my pan for my van, because my van is so small, is also small. And usually when I make pasta salad, I make it in a bigger pan, but nope, not today. Okay guys, we just took our dish in. As you can see, it's pretty packed in there. We're gonna go eat in just a minute. I'm super excited. Everything looked good. So I am really 
really hungry at this point after cooking all that food and uh, I can't wait and ladybug out what did you bring to the cookout <laughs> I bought brownies all right I mean, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. She doesn't have an oven and I don't have an oven. So it kind of makes sense, but she was being resourceful. It is like 4,000 degrees out here today. So I was cooking in the heat. She actually was pretty smart for doing that. So it's the final day here at Lollapalooza and everybody is starting to kind of move around and pack up and things like that. Last night we decided we were going to have a little bit of fun over on the main area. They had a dance party. But we were feeling like uh, doing our own little version of that, and here's what that looked like. But after all of that fun, now it's time to get back to the dirty part of van life. It's time to clean our van a little bit. So I'm just brushing it out this morning and getting it ready for the road again. This is something that is an ongoing thing with van life. I mean, you can't have just fun and games all the time. Sometimes it has to be about the actual stuff. So yeah, even here at Lollapalooza, I'm brushing my van. Go figure. But um, yeah, that's kind of how it's been going. Every night we've had a campfire and some nights we've been more successful with that. We've had some really great times here and all in all, I am super happy that I decided to come out here and meet a few new people, see a few familiar faces and just do some different activities. I encourage you guys, if you're watching this video to find van or gathering events near you. Some of them are just day events. Others are campouts like this one, where you can come out to a place like the wagon wheel here and uh, meet tons of new people. And I think that that's the best thing that we have as a community here that is nomadic. It's really amazing to just kind of see who all's out there, what they're up to, how they started out this life. And here at Lollapalooza, they really focused on that. In fact, they even had a game that's the getting to know you game where you can go around and see how many people that you can get to know. And I love that. <music> Yeah, and uh, looking at this sky, I totally forgot. Last night, we caught the most epic sky ever, and it was just really cool. So I took a couple pictures of the van, but I also captured some of uh, this. Check that out. Okay, guys, it has been fun here at Lollapalooza. Really good time, tons of new people. And if you're watching this and you were at Lollapalooza, I had such a good time meeting each and every one of you. I really did. And I can't wait until next year. Now I will be connecting with some more van people very soon and actually showing you a different event. And I can't wait for that. It's gonna be super, super awesome also. And a little bit different than this one. So I think that that's the cool thing about all these different events. Each one has its own unique thing about it that makes it special. And Lollapalooza was definitely very welcoming tons of really cool people and some really fun activities that I really enjoyed till next time guys bye